welcome to another edition of MSW Weekly Update. I'm your host, the MSW World Heavyweight Champion and the owner of MSW, The Clinic. Well, we certainly hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving yesterday, and we hope everyone enjoyed last week's MSW Weekly Update, which featured the pre-show match from Star K 2009 Tradition Defended between Derek Knight and Josh Rampage. And you can look forward to the full event coming soon on YouTube. This event is currently in production. We're going to add some commentary to it to get that extra flavor. It's going to be just awesome. And the video quality on Starcade will be better than ever seen before on MSW's YouTube videos. So look for that sometime in the month of December. And that's not the only thing we'll have on YouTube in the month of December, as we will also have the complete awards day from the day before Starcade 2009, featuring the GWA and MSW Hall of Fame ceremonies and the MSW Scoop Slammy Awards. So December is going to be a big month on YouTube, just like November was a big month for MSW action. As not only did we have the big Star K 2009, but on Thursday of last week, we had a, a special impromptu dark match at Moore Park. It was literally a dark match as it was pretty dark outside. And unfortunately, we didn't have the video camera on hand, so it was not taped. But that match featured myself teaming up with an individual making his return to MSW, The Future, against the team of Derek Knight and Josh Rampage. Of course, we saw uh, last week that after their match, they had a little show of respect, and they decided to team up together against us. In the end, The Future and I picked up the win, and, okay, I'll admit... I snuck in a little foreign object to defeat uh, when I pinned Josh Rampage. But after the match, the future wanted to help take credit for my win. He was trying to celebrate with me like, like he was the one who helped win. I mean, that was all me. So you know what I did after the match? I hit him with a clinical depression and laid him out. And, you know, oh, now Derek Knight and Josh Rampage were suddenly his buddies after that, helping them up. But I'll tell you what, I am the MSW World Heavyweight Champion, and that means that I stand alone. I stand on top of MSW, and I definitely intend to make it stay that way. So yeah, the future's coming back to MSW, Derek Knight's coming back to MSW, we got Josh Rampage coming in, but everybody better be on their A game, especially if they get in the ring with me. But speaking of getting in the ring... MSW has already determined our schedule of events for next year. We have six big events planned. We might have more, but right now these are the six that are on tap and definite for 2010. First up, we have a GWA event, which will feature multiple brands under the GWA banner. In January, we will have GWA Inaugural Brawl 2010. Continuing the annual tradition started last year. And even though last year's event was unfortunately not captured on tape, but this one will be. We will definitely film this event, and it will definitely be a big one, as it will be MSW's first event since Starcade. Then in March, MSW presents Mid-South Mania 2. Bringing back another tradition, the original Mid-South Mania back in 2004 featured the law, defeating me in a two out of three falls match for the MSW World Heavyweight Championship. And in fact, you can see that match right now on YouTube. So Mid-South Mania 2 should definitely provide some historic matches as well. Then in May, we have our annual End of School Bash for 2010. End of School Bash has definitely been a big event over the years. Uh, last year, the kid won the GWA World Backyard Wrestling Championship. And actually, in 2008, he won a tournament for the MSW World Heavyweight Championship. And interesting fact, 
The kid is undefeated at in the school bash with a 6-0 and record. The only individual to remain undefeated in end of school bash history. So it should be interesting uh, when we get to that to see what he does in the ring, if he can keep that winning streak up. And then our next event will be in July. This will be actually promoted by Lawrence the Law Alfred in conjunction with MSW, and it will be the second annual Lawrence Mania. And Lawrence Mania is always a pretty special event. Last year, or actually this year, to say, it featured a four-man round robin, as well as a main event for the MSW World Tag Team Championship. So definitely with the Law's mind and my mind working together to promote this event, it's definitely going to be a big one. Next up, we will have in September the final big MSW show before Starcade will be Boiling Point 2010. We previously had Boiling Point in 2005 leading up to Starcade of that year, and tempers definitely flared between the Starcade competitors at that event. So this upcoming Boiling Point is definitely going to be an event where everyone looks to make their mark heading into Starcade. And Starcade just gets bigger and bigger every year. And in 2010, we will once again present Starcade in November. And we always try to top ourselves with Starcade every year. And we will definitely do so again in 2010. We always spend all year basically thinking of what to do for Starcade. And that's why, you know, it's basically a year of planning because as soon as the first Starcade as soon as the previous Starcade happens, we're already thinking of stuff for the next one. So to recap, GWA Inaugural Brawl 2010 in January, MSW Mid-South Mania 2 in March, MSW End of School Bash 2010 in May, Lawrence Mania 2010 in July, Boiling Point 2010 in September, and finally MSW Starcade 2010 in November. So that's what we're looking at for the next year of MSW. And next month in MSW, we will be presenting the full awards, na awards night videos on YouTube, as well as coming soon next month, the full event of MSW Starcade 2009 Tradition Defended. So we'll see you here next week on MSW Weekly Update as we begin our big December on YouTube.